Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to Angie, A-N-G-I. This is my top watch today. I actually had a beautiful first move down into itself and really, really like this chart. I don't even remember the reason for this gap. It, it doesn't matter anyways. It was the my top watch this morning. It rated the best. I liked it the most. And it actually swooshed into the open. Now, that being said, uh, if you look at where this bounced into itself, the low here was 1750. It did not get to the dream target today. This is one of these unusual instances where the stock had moved so big into the open and then moved so big into the into the first period of the morning where it was exhausted. And so this is probably not going to get to the dream target for the intraday trade because it's tired. Now, it might. Uh, this didn't go over the high of the day is holding, and you could have reshorted this here, but again, time of the day is an ideal to be back in this if you did the morning move. I think this actually still breaks the low of the day here and still goes to $17. It's early. It's only 1 o'clock, and this is just hanging on by a thread. Uh, it's going to close looking similar to this or even a bigger red bar, and this will fall through tomorrow and get to 17 and break 17 if it doesn't today. Dream talk on this today was like 1677-ish. And I really thought when it broke the low of the day, it would just go down, but it didn't. Typical of these things, it broke the low of the day by 15 cents and then backed up here. But again, do you see this is not, I even, when I saw this, I thought, hmm, this is all people getting stopped out here in this green bar. People that lower their stop, they were in the morning trade or took a new trade here. They had their stop here. This is people getting covered in the shorts. It's not buying. Stock ran up here, held. Now this is looks ugly to short back into. And again, you can't do this unless you want to be in it until 4 o'clock to break. But, you know, this is why you take a trade, you put the stop. This really wasn't anything. This wasn't any entry at all. There wasn't anything to do here. So you can't lower the stop. And this is nothing. Okay, you're in the trade from the morning to get the move. It did open and swoosh, and it actually broke the area this morning, which I saw pre-market, that I thought, oh, you know, I hope this doesn't uh, break this in the morning, and then it did. So then I knew it was good to do no matter what it did aggressively. Uh, initially, I thought it would be better for it rally, but it didn't do it. And then it was fine. It didn't even matter. And there was plenty of volume in this actually in the morning. So here's the swoosh. Here's the swoosh. It happens. High is 1860. Solid in the morning. Ran down here at 1765. This is the swoosh. Uh, a hard, fast, quick, immediate movement in the first five minutes of the day. This happened right in here in the first three bars of the day, and then it flipped. So this stock I knew was lower today, and why I still think it's going to the $17 number on the day, because it started with a swoosh. But this was a really, really sizable gap from the morning move down last night until where it opened. It lost $3 and it fell into itself. It just like opened this morning and fell and fell and fell and fell and fell and, fell and nothing to hold it up and collapsed. This was spready today. Uh, this was at one point a 20 cent spread, 13 cent spread, 10 cents then into the morning. Now it's a penny, but it still keeps uh, moving around. And you have to give something a cushion when it has a spread when you take it. Although it looks pretty tight here now, actually. One penny. Uh, but you wouldn't be in this now. Uh, you know, if you didn't if you didn't short this back up here when it retested the high, you just leave this alone. I don't see a correct entry in here to do this at this point. Uh, it is definitely lower. It might have a setup into two o'clock. This has to squish down on top of itself here to rally back up and set up here around two two fifteen, and then it might break. So this is either going to flatline here all day or break the new low. It's going to close looking like this or worse. Nice, nice fat bar in the day. And this stock can have big moves. I mean, the stock can move to three plus dollars on the day. And from the low where it is from the from the top, it's only a buck. And that's the other reason why I expected it to go bigger today as well. And again, the market is helping this too. A market's helping everything today because the market's rolling over. Shorts were in play today. The bears were in charge of the overall trend of the market um, for the day, intraday. And anything that was weak, which Angie was weak, was in play. So really nice aggressive short in this in the morning. Had a beautiful move, went right down to the low of the day. Didn't break, finally did, and just didn't get to the bigger number. But the day is not over for this yet. And uh, long term, this is lower for sure anyways. Uh, nice move here today in Angie. If you'd like more information on how to rate gaps and find gaps like Angie, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day. The next gap class is October 12th and 13th. If you'd like to email me to learn how to trade gaps like this in fall trading and fall earnings season, fall earnings season starts in a week. Going to be a good time to have lots and lots and lots of gaps like this to make money. So have a great day, everybody.